Welcome to another Photo Plus tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make gold bevel text. And if we do everything properly, it should look something like this. Okay? Let's close that. And let's start with a new document. New image. We'll go with 800 by 600, just like it is. We're going to switch this to background color, because background is black right now, and that's the color that we want. So I'll say that, and we have our black background image. First thing we're going to start off with is some text. The text tool will automatically create its own layer. So, I'm going to put that on there. And I'm going to type the word gold. all capitalized. We're going to select that text just like that and we're going to make it about 120 points. We're also going to change the anti-alias to super sample just to smooth it out. We're going to select it again and say bold. Nice big text. We'll move that down here to the center and this will be what we will we'll be working on. The first thing I need to do at this point is fill this text with some kind of gold light color. So I'm going to double click this layer which is slightly different from other layers in that it gives you a fill option instead of the normal filter layer that other layers have. We're going to change this to a linear gradient and we're going to create the gradient. I'm going to double click on that. I have some colors here I'm using for this. This uh, sort of goldish color for the first node. I'm going to add a node in here toward the center. I'm going to double click that and choose this very light color like that, and then double click the white node and go back to this darker color. Just like that. Now, I'm going to say OK here. And we're going to adjust the angle of that by going to this side and choosing the gradient fill tool. That automatically gives us the drag nodes for the gradient. And we're going to take one end over here and the other end just above it to the top and try to make it even if you can like that now almost all the rest of this is done with filter effects on this layer so we're clicking the add layer effects button and we're going to start out first very simply with an outer glow which is going to be sort of an orange color. We go up here like this. And maybe a little brighter than that, go out to the edge. Like that. And we're going to increase the blur. Like that. Just to get that glow around the letters. The next step is going to be to create the 3D effects. We go to 3D effects, click it, we're going to leave blur at 25, and we're changing the depth to make the nice chisel effect on top. Take that up to about 200, or more if necessary. That gives us that nice sharp line. That's the second step. Third step is to add a reflection map. And we're going to click this little checkerboard pattern. And right click inside patterns and choose reflections indoor. And we're just going to take the first one. This one. We're going to change the blend mode to burn. 
and we're just going to play with the scaling and the angle to try to get something that looks reflective. Take down the opacity a little bit, and we'll change the angle a little bit. Now it's starting to look quite reflective. Take it down just a little bit more like that. That looks pretty good. The next step is to add an outline. So we click outline. And we're going to make this outline about 3 pixels. 3 or 4. Depending on which one I can hit you here. Go with 3. And again, we're going to change it to a linear outline. We are going to click the, the gradient. And just pick one at first that we can play with. We're going to double click this. And we're just going to go back and forth between this dark color. Some of these are very strange gradients. They have piles of color on top of them. And we're going to add another node here. Make this one light. Add another node. Make this one dark. And so on. I'm going to pause and finish that. So you don't have to watch me. It should look something like this when you're done. And say, okay. We are going to turn the angle down to the bottom. And we're going to play around with the scaling. Just maybe take it up a little bit. And play around with the angle a little bit just to get some shades of color all the way around it. Yeah. That looks pretty good. We're going to say OK to that. It looks good, but it's still not perfect, of course. But there are so many options here that you can play with to make it look any way you want to. Uh, right now, I'm going to change the, the lighting angle to the top, to just above, like that. And I'm going to add a second light. The second light will be off to the side. As you can see, that already makes it look even more like gold text. We'll just change this down to a slight bottom angle like this. So we have the one at the top, and we have the one at the bottom. This one, if we want, we can move it way out to the edge and change the color of it to be sort of an orange color which gives it even more of a gold look or you can make it green or blue or pink or whatever color you'd like to be reflected in that gold text but right now we're going to be with this orange color and we're going to say okay on that now it looks pretty good the way it is, but if you want, you can duplicate this layer. Duplicate it to its own layer. And by playing with these blend modes, you can make it look even more different. And multiply to make a very brassy, copperish looking gold. Or put the screen on to make it really bright. Uh, change it to overlay to make it almost pure gold. Just try different things and uh, I think you'll find something that you like that you've done yourself. Now don't forget to add comments on these tutorials. I need to know that what I'm doing is worthwhile. Okay, we'll see you again soon.